Hi everyone, Kurt Donahue here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to remove the short descriptions from the featured products on the home page module. If we scroll down on a home page, and I happen to be using version 1.4.1.0 today, but if we scroll down on the page, we can see here the featured products on the home page module. Now it's kind of a mouthful, so I'm just going to call it the featured products module or featured products from here on out. Now the short description is this area right here. You can see it go underlined as soon as I hold my mouse over it. And there's one for each one of the items that are showing up here right now. Some people have requested to remove these and I had to do a little bit of research to figure out how to do it, but I think I've got a nice easy solution for you. So what I want you to do is have, if you have a couple front offices, it'd be nice if you had two different front offices open one to see your changes and one to see the original version of what it looks like without the short descriptions removed and there's a reason for that because right down here there's a small border that we need to replicate and uh, it's just easier if you can see what I'm talking about with another version open. So I'm going to go to the back office of my version 1.4.1 and the very first thing that we do which is incredibly important if you miss this step you might have hours of frustration so please do not miss this step. So in the back office you need to go to the preferences tab, the performance sub tab, and you need to be sure that force compile is set to yes and cache is set to no. If you don't do this the changes that we're going to make to the TPL files will not actually show up in your front office because you need to be recompiling your TPL files in order to make these changes that we're about to make show up. And I made this mistake earlier. It's kind of silly because I know better but I forgot and it cost me about a half an hour and then I realized I made this mistake so I want to be extra specially sure that you have your force compile set to yes and cache set to no. Sorry for the redundancy but it's going to save you a bunch of time uh, if you happen to make this mistake. Okay, the next thing we want to do is find our TPL file that's going to impact the short descriptions. And I'm going to open up my text editor. And I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer. And I just happen to know where this file is. But where you want to go is you want to go to your primary PrestaShop folder. Now I've got multiple versions of PrestaShop on here because I do training on it. But you'll have something called your store or PrestaShop or whatever. And then all the normal folders below. And what you're looking for is the modules folder. And then you're looking for home featured. We'll have to scroll down a little bit. And here it is. So it's not featured home, it's home featured. Go ahead and click on that. And then you'll want to open up homefeatured.tpl right here. I'm going to open it with my text editor. And now I'm going to jump back to my front office for a moment. So in the front office, I'm going to open up my Firebug extension, which is just an add-on that you can add for Mozilla Firefox, and it allows you to see some of the background code on your page. And I'm going to inspect the Featured Products block here. So I'm going to click my Inspect button, a rectangle, and you'll notice that as I move it around, it's highlighting different areas. Well, I generally just want to highlight this area, and I'll show you the detail once we get into it. So just go ahead and click on that and what that did is it basically locked it in to the correct part of the HTML and you can see as I move my cursor here like if I move from this to this div ID and then as you look above it changes up here so every time I go over a different area a different part of our screen becomes highlighted so let's just highlight this section right here it's this div ID and it says featured hyphen products underscore block underscore center so click right there and you'll notice that this changed as well. So with Firebug you can see a number of different things going on at the same time. First off you can see the HTML of your actual page and depending on what you highlight, I want you to watch this just for a second. Watch over here and then I'm going to change to a different div. Now you see it's totally different information over here. This is the CSS that's associated with this particular div and you can tell where the CSS comes from because it tells you specifically that this editorial block portion of the CSS comes from editorial.css on line 2 and if you want to see that you can just click through and it will take you to that particular 
CSS file and that portion of the CSS file that you had in question. So let's go back. I just used the back arrow over here. What we want to be looking at is generally the featured products block center. So we'll click on that. And I'm going to drill down here a little bit. So I'm highlighting the H4, and you can see up here, if you look, you'll see the featured products highlighted. I'm going to go down a little bit more and go into div class. Now that has a plus button by it, so let's hit, click the plus and that will expand it. And then we'll see UL style. Let's expand that if it isn't already. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more so we can see better, because this is really important. So here we have UL style, height 342 pixels. Well, I'm just going to tell you that that relates to the height from basically right here, right where my the point of my cursor is, to this very bottom corner here. That's 342 pixels from there to there. And that's very important because when we get rid of the short description, this area is going to go away in here, which will change the way everything looks, and we'll need to readjust this number. So I just wanted to point that out. I also wanted to show you as I highlight these various list item classes, you can see each one being highlighted as we move across. And these are our products that we've selected to show up in the Featured Products module. So they're the home page products. Okay, before we move on, I want to show you one quick thing here on what you can do with Firebug. You, if you click on the height portion, it will highlight it like that. And then you can either use your cursor or you can just click in there again and then use your cursor. And let's just change this from 342 to 400, just so you can see what actually happens here. Now you notice that a whole bunch of gray just showed up here, more than was there before. Let's scroll down a little bit. So now, because I've made this modification, you can see a real-time change on your screen. You're not actually permanently modifying anything. This is just temporary modifications to the code on your page. So let's say that we wanted to change that to 1,000. We'll need to scroll down quite a bit because now it's made it 1,000 pixels. And let's say that we didn't like anything that we did and we wanted to go back from to where we started. Just reload your page. And now you can see we were back to where we started with the same height. So let's just reinspect that. Pick anywhere in here and then drill down to where we were before and find that UL style height 342 pixels. Okay, now we're actually going to remove the short descriptions, this area right up here. So let's go to our TPL file, which is the home feature.tpl. And I'll just make this easy for you. You want to scroll down and you're looking at approximately, well not approximately, in my text editor it's line 41 and it's this area right here. It says div class product description and it goes on to the end over here at this closing div tag. So that is the short description and what, if we don't want that to show up all we need to do is comment it out using HTML comment code. So you have a less than sign, the exclamation point, you have two dashes, and then let's put the closing comment over here. So it's dash, dash, and then the greater than symbol. So now this code has been commented out. In order for it to take effect, you need to be sure to save it. So let's go File, Save. Now let's go back to the front office and reload the page. And now we can see that we no longer have short descriptions. We do have the product title and the product picture and all the other information, but the short description is gone. We've also developed a little bit of a problem. Since the short description is gone, we now have this extra space that used to be taken up by the short description, but obviously the short description was up there. Now that it's gone, everything just moved up. And yet this height stayed at that 342 pixels. So let's be sure that we've got this inspected and get back to our div class. And we've got our UL style. That's what we're looking for. Scroll down a little bit. Now, I had to experiment in order to figure out what this is supposed to be. I'm certainly not a CSS expert or smarty or anything. I'm really not a, a good coder at all. But I was able, through trial and error, 
to come up with the size of 243 pixels. So let's just change that to 243 pixels. And you can see right now that it's a, it's a little hard to see, but you can see that there's about a one pixel gray border here. And the reason I wanted you to have another instance of the front office open, if you move over to a different version and take a look at what it was originally before we modified it, it certainly looks the same to me. So I'm going to say that that's close enough. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do it or not. And if some of you know what a better way to do it is, please let me know. But I just did this by trial and error. So I know that the height of 243 pixels should work. So since I've tested it here in Firebug, we need to incorporate it into our TPL file so it's a permanent change. So let's go back to the TPL file. And what you're looking for is this section right up here. In my text editor, it's line 32. And it says something like assign variable list item height value 342. So we want to change that 342 to 243. And then be sure you save that. Go back to the front office. Be sure you're in the right version of PrestaShop. And now let's reload that page. Okay, so it's taken away our temporary modifications and reached out to the TPL file. And you can see right here that it certainly looks very similar to what we've got in this unaltered version over here. So I'm going to call it good enough. Okay, so the last thing that we should do is go to the back office and now let's change back our Smarty settings. Now that we're done modifying the TPL file, let's set this up for speed. And this is assuming that you're not making any additional module or other TPL file changes. So if you want a faster system, change force compile to no and change cache to yes and then save. And of course, uh, you you might want to go through all the rest of the performance settings if you haven't done so already. I just wanted to remind you that if you didn't make these changes, your system is going to be much slower for the customers because it's recompiling the TPL files every time they click reload or refresh or go to another page. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.